Welcome to Indigenous Media Network News Bulletin, today July 30, 2021. First the headlines. The Gambela People's Liberation Movement increasingly worried of ruling party strategies of intimidations and harassments. The UN Humanitarian Chief on six days visit to Ethiopia. USA Director, Samantha Power, expected to arrive in Addis Ababa. South Sudan commemorates Martyrs Day. News in details. Gambela. The Gambela People's Liberation Movement expressed its disappointment of the regional and national election results. In a statement on 29 July 2021, the movement appealed to its members to remain calm while waiting for the decision of National Electoral Board of Ethiopia. Also, the movement appealed to authorities for the ruling Prosperity Party to end harassments, intimidations and increasing dismissals of their members from government offices. Addis Ababa The crisis in northern Ethiopia has made the UN humanitarian chief to visit Addis Ababa on six days' visit. On his visit, Martin Griffiths expected to hold talks with Ethiopian authorities to push for access to war-affected areas in northern Ethiopia. Since conflict erupted between the Tigray forces and Ethiopian federal authorities, more than 5.2 million civilians feared to have been threatened by hunger and in need of immediate humanitarian support. Also, USA Director, Samantha Power expected to arrive in Addis Ababa on similar mission to ease tension and provide humanitarian assistance. South Sudan Ten years after gaining the independence from Khartoum, South Sudan today remembers more than two million fallen souls who died in the liberation struggle. The country also today marks the death of South Sudan People's Liberation Movement founder and leader, Dr. John Garang Damabia who died in plane crash in 2005. Thank for listening, join us again in our next news bulletin.